Throughout the history of the Earth, millions of species of living things existed on it. Some animals have evolved actively, having existed for tens or even hundreds of millions of years. Others died out before they could be born. In our new video, we have prepared the top 5 deadliest animals in the history of the Earth. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed the video, then like it. And if you have something to say about the video, then write your independent comment. And be sure to press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting episodes from the Dinosaur Age channel. And we begin. The fifth in our top five is taken by Smilodon. Smilodon was a prehistoric cat, often called the saber-toothed tiger. But really, they had no relation to the tigers that exist in our time. The correct term for Smilodon and its closest relatives is a saber-toothed cat. Smilodon was the largest of the saber-toothed cats and one of the largest predators among mammals ever wandering the earth. They lived throughout the Americas, preferring a habitat with an ideal mix of forests and fields, allowing them to hunt large, slow-moving herbivores. It is likely that it hunted in groups, possibly living in prides like African lions. According to paleontologists, there is irrefutable evidence that elderly or injured members of this family were supported by other members of the group, despite their inability to hunt. During hunting, Smilodon could chase its prey for a short period of time as their tails severely disturbed their balance. Smilodon most likely had to use trees or bushes to ambush to track down prey and suddenly attack. Surprisingly, their imposing fangs were very fragile and broke easily, so this cat could not hold its prey with its teeth as a lion does. Instead, using their huge size and powerful forelimbs, they knocked the enemy off the paws with a powerful lunge. And, as soon as the prey was pressed to the ground by the first attacking predator, another cat clamped the trachea with its teeth, thereby using its powerful jaw muscles to choke its victim. Thanks to the abundance of fossils throughout America, it can be concluded that Smilodon was a very successful predator. Until now, his disappearance remains a mystery. There is speculation that its extinction was due to the extinction of large herbivores shortly after humans colonized America about 13,000 years ago. To describe the fourth deadliest predator of all time, we need to go far, far into the past of Earth, in the Cambrian era, about 500 million years ago. Our world at that time was completely unrecognizable. The whole Earth was covered with rocks, thereby very similar to Mars. But in those days, the oceans were already teeming with life. For millions of years, evolution was progressing very slowly. Most of the animals that existed up to this moment were primitive creatures that simply went with the current. It was at this time that life on Earth began to develop in a completely new direction. The first predators appeared, and the largest and deadliest was a strange invertebrate creature, Anomalocaris. At the time, it was the largest animal on the planet. Its length was about 6 feet. It had a flexible, segmented body large eyes and a round mouth that had razor-sharp plates. Anomalocaris was completely unlike any animal that exists today, and its unique features, unfortunately, disappeared with it. It is possible that Anomalocaris lived in small stocks, traveling through tropical coastal waters in search of prey. Anomalocaris was capable of eating anything, but most of all, it preferred the famous trilobites, which at that time were a huge number of species. However, trilobites were not easy prey, since their hard shells provided them with serious protection. To cope with this, Anomalocaris used its curved forelimbs to grab and hold its prey at the moment of hunting. Anomalocaris fossils were found in Canada, China, and Australia. Initially, scientists were confused about what the creature looked like and it was originally believed that the fossils found belonged to two different animal species, and it was not until the 1980s that scientists realized that fossils were actually part of one large animal. In third place is Tyrannosaurus rex, the most popular and famous of all dinosaurs. It was a massive two-legged creature with a powerful tail, a huge head, and tiny front legs. Tyrannosaurus lived in the dry open plains of North America during the Cretaceous period, 
where it constantly wandered in searching of prey. His main diet was other large dinosaurs. It is believed that T. rex had an exceptional sense of smell, which it may have used both for hunting and for searching for falls, which he possibly ate. The main weapon of the Tyrannosaurus was its huge mouth, with serrated teeth and its strongest bite. Its jaws were more than three feet long. The curved and serrated teeth of the Tyrannosaurus were often the size of a human palm and were used to attack the victim at the time of the hunt. Due to the structure of the jaw, T-Rex was unable to chew food, so he tore off pieces of the victim's flesh by swallowing it all up. According to some reports, he could swallow up to 770 pounds of meat in one meal. Such feeding meant that the Tyrannosaurus was constantly in danger of dying from suffocation. And in support of this theory, a T-Rex fossil was found, with two bones stuck in the throat. Another enigmatic physiological feature of the Tyrannosaurus was its two tiny short front legs with two fingers. What were they used for? After all, they were too short to reach its mouth and too weak to provide any means of protection or hunting. There is a theory that they could be used as a part of a mating ritual. For a long time, Tyrannosaurus remains the most famous dinosaur, appearing as the protagonist in countless books, films, and TV programs. Its familiar and easily recognizable form makes it one of the symbols of paleontology, and many scientists consider it the most important fossil of all time. Another surprising fact of the dinosaur era was that the powerful predator getting the second line of our top was not a dinosaur. Leopleurodon it was a marine reptile and huge in size, reaching 82 feet in length. Despite its size, it could glide silently through the warm tropical shallow seas of the late Jurassic period. In the water, it moved around, swinging giant flippers alternately. This form of swimming was quite unique to Leopleurodon and its closest relatives known as plesiosaurs. Leopleurodon's skull was huge, making up nearly half its total length. It was connected to the body through a comparatively short neck. The long jaws contained rows of needle-sharp teeth capable of killing any other marine animal of that time. Both the skull and jaw bones were strengthened in a way that allowed them to withstand the powerful bite force of its jaws. Leopleurodon, the largest known predator, its jaws were three times larger than those of a Tyrannosaurus. It is therefore not surprising that he preyed predominantly on other giant marine reptiles and fish. He was particularly fond of saltwater crocodiles, sharks, ichthyosaurs, and other pelicosaurs. With a very heightened sense of smell, Leopleurodon could smell its prey at a considerable distance and, like sharks, follow the smell up to its origin. It also had very good vision, and as soon as it noticed suitable prey, it was quickly gaining speed using its huge flippers. So, here it is, the most deadly predator of all time, getting the top position. This is a very familiar animal. If you want to see it, all you have to do is just look in the mirror. We often call ourselves humans, but scientifically, we're known as Homo sapiens, or man of reason. Our ancestors first evolved in East Africa about 190,000 years ago, and that's where we lived for a long time. For most of our history, there have been very few prerequisites that we could one day dominate the planet. But about 90,000 years ago, things began to change. We left Africa, and in just 50,000 years, large human settlements formed in Asia, Europe, and the Far East, including Australia. The first people of Europe are often called Cro-Magnons, by the name of a place in France where they were first found. The Cro-Magnons shared the European continent with other very famous human species, Neanderthals. Although these more ancient people were well adapted to their environment, in turn, the ability of the Cro-Magnons to think abstractly and the ability to solve complex problems helped them adapt relatively quickly to the Ice Age environment. They made flint knives and spear tips, ropes and tight-fitting woven clothing. Using their outstanding tool-making skills, the Cro-Magnons were able to hunt more efficiently and produce more food. They learned to cultivate it more efficiently and even learned to store it for further use. Cro-Magnons also supplemented their meat diet with edible plants, 
fruits and vegetables, meaning they probably didn't rely as much on hunting as Neanderthals. For most of their history, Homo sapiens have shared the world with other people. But 28,000 years ago, Neanderthals and some other human ancestors died out. The ingenuity of Homo sapiens allowed them to survive the Ice Age, colonize much of the globe, and discover new ways of living together through the power of invention. The invention of agriculture in the Middle East 11,000 years ago changed our species and set us on a path to the world we live in today, a world of constant technological change. The extraordinary ingenuity of Homo sapiens allowed us to effectively transcend the natural order. We started producing food ourselves by farming, which allowed the population to grow exponentially. This process has accelerated over a millennia, and now the human presence on the planet is more than 7.5 billion people. Now man has a huge impact on the limited resources of the Earth and many of its ecosystems. As a result, we can be safely called the deadliest predator ever. Moreover, our ingenuity allows us to produce weapons to destroy anyone from flies to whales. We are even trying to eliminate certain harmful bacteria and viruses using various forms of medicine. But the worst thing is that due to military conflicts and crime, we kill representatives of our own species. At least half a million people die at our hands every year. But that's a completely different story. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Now you know a little more about the history of the animal world of our planet. If you like the topics of our channel, then be sure to subscribe and click on the bell, which will promptly notify you about new and interesting videos from the Dinosaur Age channel.